21 years old. Uh, how long have you been singing? Um, I've been singing for all of my life. I really started when I was eight years old. What was the first song that you learned? Ooh. First mariachi song I ever learned was Por un amor. Can you give us a little sample of that first off real fast? Sure. Uh, I suppose. <clears throat> Por un amor Me desvelo y voy apasionada Tengo un amor Que mi vida dejó para siempre Amargo dolor Pobre That was beautiful. Clap, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you're really good. Yeah, you have a very beautiful voice. Um, who are the people that you surround yourself most in your life, and why? Uh, I mainly surround myself with my family, and my friends. Um, I have nephews and a niece, and I try my best to be around them. And I have very supportive friends and a very loving family. Yeah. I'm currently studying mechanical and aerospace engineering. Oh. Do you want to work for like NASA? That would be cool. That would be cool. What's up? <laughs> Is that the goal? Yes. So then, what if you like you know blow up or go famous? So you can do you can do both, right? Why not? Who's the most inspiring person to you? Um, most inspiring. Probably my sister. I think she's a very strong woman and uh, she's always supportive and always talking to me. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have an older sister and an older brother. So you're the baby? Yes. <laughs> Is she spoiled? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what inspired you to reach out to SJ Records? My mariachi director, my previous mariachi director, um, he actually referred me to him. Um, my mom was talking to him one day and was saying like, oh, we wanted to do a recording with Gabrielle, but you know, we don't really know where to start or anything. And he's like, well, why don't you start with the Shea Records and reach out to him, see what happens. So, yeah. Well, what happened? Um, turns out Mr. Saman gave Daniel like a word, like referred me to him. I heads up. <laughs> yeah. Said, hey, like, she's probably going to reach out to you. She's really good. I recorded her before. Um, so I reached out to him. He made some time for me and we were able to record. Um, the song, um, did you both come up with, uh, with the idea of what you were going to sing? So I was asked to come up with a few songs and then, you know, uh, run with by him, see what we thought would fit best. And so after like song searching for maybe like a month or two, that we, we came up with this one. The song was the one that we chose. So at the beginning of the song, it sounds like you're on the phone. Can you tell us a little bit what the song is about? So it's, I would say it's a one-sided love. So in the chorus, it's think of me, you know, pants on me, llora por mi, why don't you cry for me? And llamame a mi, so call me. Why aren't you calling out for me? Why do you keep going back? Why do you go to her? So uh, we decided to go with the line, llamame a mi, and kind of ran with that. And then you so changed it to the, to the female. Yeah, so in the original song, Pants on Me, um, it's, uh, it's a man um, like calling out to a woman that he's in love with. And, but when we chose this song, you know, I wanted to change like the genders to make it for me. And so now I'm calling out for 
you know, like this man, like, why don't you love me? Why do you keep going back to her? Now, Mama, um, you supported her music since the beginning? Yes. When did you realize that she had the ability to sing? Well, my mom actually taught her how to carry her words and uh, put her mouth like how to use the words when she was singing. She was very little. She was, uh, I want to say, about three, four years old. My mom would sing with her. And um, she actually, one of the first songs she, was, uh, she sang was uh, with her class that I remember was with her class when she was a Head Start. And it was called Soy Espanoyo. What's that mean? Um, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Yeah. And she also performed that song um, at the 4th of July. Uh, Mayor S Sanchez, I can't remember his first name, came up and uh, and asked her to sing, and she sang on, on stage with all everybody around there. And she did a beautiful job as a five-year-old, six-year-old. Five? Yes. <laughs> I don't remember yeah. that. <laughs> you were a baby. Yeah. So, um, how do you feel about Chihita? She's a very inspiring young woman, isn't she? Yes, we're um, we're very excited with her and all her accomplishments and. Um, She's just an amazing young girl. She's talented and she's smart. Um, she um, she also plays the violin, by the way. Was she planned? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So she's a happy surprise? Yes. Um, so uh, what was it like the day that you found out that you were pregnant with her? I was very excited. We were really excited. Um, kind of scared because she's Eight years younger than her, her older brother, and 11 years younger than her eldest sister. So it was start, having to start all over again with her, but I knew she was a blessing. My, my mom has, uh, my mom, we have a music background in my family. I, I, I can't carry a voice, but I have a, two sisters that, that sing, and uh, my nephews that play instruments and stuff like that. So we kind of have a little bit of musician, um, um, Music, but is it called musical? Musical, music? musical yeah, family. yeah, background, yeah. She's that is a little girl. Um, her dad retired, so she got to spend a lot of time with her dad. So um, I was working and stuff, so I didn't get to spend too much time with her growing up. And I know a lot of times she used to get upset because I wasn't a teacher and I couldn't stay stay with her for the summers. <laughs> As a baby. Um, she was mean, <laughs> and um, we used to call her uh, Boo from um, Monsters Inc. From Monsters because she used to scream like her, <laughs> and then she had little pigtails that she used to come out with her. She had very little hair, and uh, but she used to scream just like Boo and Monster Inc. <laughs> Daniel Lee Gallegos. Oh. <laughs> you saw me coming a mile away. <laughs> yes, <I'm so> <laughs> Congratulations on your win, man! Thank at you. The, at the uh, Hispanic New Mexico Hispanic yeah, Music Awards. I got a couple of awards: uh, traditional ranchero of the year and uh, bilingual song of the year. So uh, it always feels good to be appreciated for the hard work that you put in. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I was expecting you to to win no matter what, something that night, you know. But I mean. Two of them is pretty epic, bro. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, you know, there's a lot of uh, very, very, very talented artists out there. It's uh, uh, a lot of people that are really, really good. And uh, it's an honor to, to represent uh, this part of uh, New Mexico, Eastern uh, Las Vegas, especialmente Mora County, San Miguel County. And it, it's, it's always good to represent. You were very happy, I'm sure, to come across this awesome voice. Oh, yeah. Uh, like 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 she, we talked about earlier, you know, Martin called and said, you know, uh, he called her Gabby, and uh, <laughs> she goes by AKA all kinds of names. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the reasons why we went with Ariana was because there's a lot of Gabrielas out there already, and we wanted to kind of just get away from that, you know, and, uh, and, and start fresh, start her solo career fresh uh, with a new name, and uh, that's how, that's why we picked that. But, uh, but uh, yeah, he rec highly recommended her. We sat down, we tossed some songs around, and uh, kind of like this song, you know, and I, I, I saw the potential in, in doing it uh, New Mexico style. Because it's done by, uh, it's an old song. It's, it was recorded back in 1996 by Grupo Mojado, and it's a very popular song. 
So I kind of want, I wanted to put that twist on it, the Mexico style twist. Well, you know what? I had heard that song, Dos Palomas al Bombar on the radio several, several times, and I never knew who sang it. I, I knew that they, whoever sang that song, I knew they had potential. I was like, man, they sound really good. I knew it was Mariachi Calderon, but I knew that they all sang that, so I didn't know which one who was singing it. And, 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 and that's a song that won an award, verdad? That's one of the songs that won an award. So I already, I had heard her voice already. I just didn't know who it was. <laughs> so, so when she came to me and we picked the song, you know, we, we, we dabbled, we dabbled with the, the chords. Uh, she, we came up with the chord and, 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 and actually we changed the chord in the middle of the recording because uh, she wanted to sing a little bit higher. So um, it's just one of those things where it's like a puzzle. You start putting it together and things kind of some, some, some work and some don't. Ariana, you, uh, what did you think about working with Daniel? I thought it was, so I know that he's like a very busy person, right? And when I called, but it was kind of funny, but before you knew who I was, you're like, I don't know, like, I don't really have much time. But then after right. I kind of, you're like, oh yeah, like, I can have, have some time like at, at the ending of July or something. Right. <laughs> and I don't know, it felt like, like an honor that. Yeah, I made, I, made, I made the time, you know, it's just, yeah. when I see talent, raw talent, I go after it. But one of the things that I really, 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 really liked about it was that she was a youth artist, you know. Uh, I know she's 20, almost 21 now, but uh, but I know that when you're with uh, Maria Chicaneran, you were really a youth, you know, yeah. and you still are. But uh, but uh, that's one of the things that I'm trying to trying to do at SD Records is promote youth artists, the next generation of New Mexico music, because we gotta we gotta get these these young people involved. Uh, if not, the music's gonna die. Uh, seriously. <laughs> so if you're a youth, hit me up. Adiós.